What's going on, combat sports fans? This should be a really exciting fight for UFC 208. Islam Makahaviv versus Nick Lentz at UFC 208. This is my prediction and preview. I'm Crazy Joe. We got Big Dog, Jimmy Hare, and Creepy Zeke. If you're new to the channel, make sure to punch the subscribe button down below and the submission. And also punch the bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded here at Joe's Commentary and Predictions. Now let's get right to the prediction and then into some preview stuff. So, I am going to be going with Islam Makaviv to win it by submission in the second round over the Carney Nick Lentz. Uh, you know, I think he has what it takes to uh, do it, and I think it's going to happen in the second round. Islam is a badass dude, and so is Nick. I like Nick. I was at one point going for Nick, but then I changed my mind and I decided to stick with uh, Islam on this fight. Uh, you know, he's a badass dude. It's going to be really fun. Big Dog Jimmy and a Creepy Zeke, they're both going against me. They both think the Carney Nick Lentz is going to win this one. Big Dog Jimmy thinks we're going to see a submission victory for Nick over Islam, and Creepy Zeke thinks we're going to see a KOTKO uh, for Nick over Islam. Uh, Islam has not been submitted yet, so Big Dog Jimmy is going for history-making prediction here for uh, Nick over Islam and him submitting him. I don't think Nick's going to be able to keep Islam down and submit him. The Russian is a badass dude, and uh, it's very difficult to submit these guys from Russia. You know, it is possible. It does happen at times, but it's very difficult, in my opinion. Um, you know, not taking anything away from Nick, but Islam is a badass dude. So, we, uh, for uh, Nick, he is uh, 32 years old at 5 foot 8, and Islam is 25 years old with uh, 5, he's 5 foot 10. So, he has the age, uh, he's younger by quite a few years, and he has got the height over uh, Nick as well. So, he's got a little bit of reach at 70 inch reach. Uh, over Nick with 68 and he's got the leg reach of 40 over 38 as well so Nick has got 29 wins 7 losses, 2 draws with one no contest Islam is 13 and 1 in his pro career so Big Doug to me and Creepy Zeke back there they're thinking that Nick is going to pick up his 30th win at UFC 208 make sure to let us know down in the comment section who you agree with do you agree with me with a submission victory for Islam do you agree with Big Dog Jimmy with the submission victory for Nick or do you agree with Creepy Zeke for a KOTKO victory for Nick over Islam on this fight so let's get into some information here on the two fighters uh, Islam Makhaviv has got two wins by KOTKO six by by decision, uh, six by submission, I mean, and five by decision. His lone loss comes by way of KO, TKO, and that was a TKO uh, at UFC 192 when the first round over Andrino Martins. Uh, his UFC debut was at UFC 187 where he won a uh, second round rear naked chokehold over Leo Kuntz, I mean Kuntz, uh, and then Chris Wade uh, in his last fight. Uh, for Islam Makahivov uh, was uh, Chris Wade at UFC Fight Night 94 by unanimous decision. Um, he's got a triangle choke, or armbar choke, uh, armbar, an armbar, rear naked choke, triangle choke, and a, and a couple of TKO KOs in his pro career. Now for the Carney Nick Lentz, he's got 7 wins by KO TKO. 10 submission wins, 10 decision wins, and he's got 2 losses by KO, TKO, 2 by submission, 3 by decision. He's on a 2 fight win streak right now that started at UFC and Fox 17 against Danny Castillo in a split decision. Then he had UFC 203, he won in the second round TKO over Michael McBride. Uh, he lost to Charles Oliveri at UFC uh, Fight Night 67 by guillotine choke in the third round. He beat Mandy Gambarian uh, by decision. He lost to Chad Mendez by unanimous decision. Um, he's been in the UFC for a long ass time, as we all know. He has debuted at U, uh, UFC 103 at uh, 2009 with a decision win, and then he had some, several decision wins, and he got the guillotine choke at UFC Fight Night 24. Uh, then there was that no contest uh, lunch struck by illegal knee against Charles Oliveri, and eventually they fought again down several years later, because uh, that was a 2011, and then he lost 
by Guillotine Choke in 2015 to the same guy. Uh, yeah, Evan Dunham beat him by TKO. He beat Hecron Diaz by a unanimous decision quite some time ago. He's been fighting for a long time, since 2005. He's been fighting for 12 years now. And it's something out. He is a badass dude. And it's going to be a really fun fight. Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you haven't yet, punch the subscribe button over here into submission. Uh, hit slap the like button if you enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a comment. Peep the videos up and around here uh, if they look interesting. Share the video with your family and friends. Thanks.